Alrighty, hello everybody, Cube of the Conqueror here, bringing you another episode of Bugs, Bounties, and Complaints. As you can tell, I've got a new microphone recently, so my voice is going to sound a lot better than previous episodes. So, I haven't played the game in a while, I've been away for about three months, so this is going to be a brand new experience for me to the 4.1 update. I'm going to start a new game, and I'm going to enable Twitter just to see how it works, So I read on the forums that apparently there were some issues with Twitter working, so just give me two seconds to punch in the account, there we go, and let's get started. Oh, oops, I, uh, I left my joystick plugged in, so the camera's just spinning, but that's not an uncommon problem, so I'll just unplug that really quick and restart. And let's just see how the game goes, because the guys have done a lot of work recently, and the last time I played, I think was 3.7 or 3.8. Actually, before we go off on this adventure, I want to show you guys just a few clips of the old game, just so you can see the graphical improvements and massive texture improvements that they've done to make it look better. Alrighty, so I wasn't able to find any old footage that I had, and I didn't want to take anything off YouTube. So I just grabbed this old image here off Google, and as you can see, the coal looks horribly like like a polygon. There's no real good texture to it. There's no grass. The lighting's bad. You know, the 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 blocks are kind of dull. And if we go switch back to the new version in just two seconds here, we can see that. Um, well, you can't really see it here, but the graphics have generally improved, the textures look way nicer, you know, there's grass around the bases of the trees, um, and the coal looks way better too, although there's none around right now for me to show you. So, I got started on my game, you know, just basic stuff. I killed the first guy that I encountered and grabbed his extra block, as was my older team, and I was shocked to see that the lo old location where the base used to be was nothing. It was these guardians here fighting. Now, that was very strange to me because I was, you know, used to 3.8 and we had this big, blocky, junky base, you know, sitting right smack dab in the middle. Another thing that surprised me, and I enjoyed, was the noise that radar dishes make when you pull them on and off the tech. It was a really nice little feature. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording sound when I played, it completely forgot to do that, so you can't actually hear it. I apologize about that, but you'll just have to open up your game and actually give a look for yourself. This episode's rather rushed because I hadn't done one in a while because of my problems and all that stuff and time, so I just wanted to get one off the assembly line for you guys for you to enjoy. So now, moving on with my adventure, I have a moral dilemma for the devs. You see, the overseer here is totally a slave master, and poor Lumber Joe is just working, trying not to get killed. And, you know, I want the part they're guarding, right? Because it seems pretty cool. So I go in to take out the Overseer, because I'm the hero. Okay, I'm the good guy in this situation. And he's quickly defeated. I destroy him, as we can see here in short order. I make quick work. Jump forward just two seconds. And now, after I've salvaged all the gear I want from his dead body, Lumberjack, unfortunately, just stays there. I've given him the chance to run, and he won't take it. I don't want to kill him. He's just an innocent slave in this situation. But unfortunately, I'm left with no choice, as it seems he's been in this slavery position too long, and is unable to break out of the habit. So I put him down and out of his misery. I feel a little bad, but hey look, cool stuff! Alrighty, up next on the complaints menu, I have the lack of reward from defeating invaders. Now, defeating invaders, I had never done it before, so I thought it would be a pushover, and boy, they can be tough. So, I was able to defeat this guy, although I almost lost the fight. I had to reattach weapons desperately mid-battle and attempt to defeat him. Luckily, I can repair myself, he can't. And at the end of the battle, I noticed that only 1,000 BB coin was deposited into my account. Which I think is just a little cheap considering the risk you take taking on an invader, and considering the amount of parts I lost. Because a lot of stuff here was simply destroyed. So... Maybe in the future, maybe 2,000, 2,500 would be, I think, a more appropriate BB coin. Of course, I still haven't found out what everything is priced for the new shop menu, so I'm not too sure if 1,000 is a lot anymore. Um, I just know that given the old price values, 1,000 is almost nothing, so a bigger benefit would be a great solution to this problem. Alrighty, I just want to mention that I love the new quest system. It's absolutely fantastic. It's really good in terms of adding progression to the game, which makes it easier for new players to get used to the free-range environment Terror Tech has created. And random seed generation is simply going to make this all more interesting. But there's only one problem, which is that sometimes you can do a quest and you get none of the parts. 
and I've tried several solutions driving away um, you know so I'm out of render range then coming back um, trying to restart the game restart the save and nothing seemed to work really so this is gonna be a big problem because of course it stops regression it stops someone from playing and this only happened to me after about maybe 15 minutes of gameplay so it's a bit of a disappointing bug, but to my understanding, the team's working hard to get it fixed, so I'm sure it'll be resolved quite, quite soonly, just as our save files being corrupted back in 3.2, I think it was, was resolved rather quickly as well. So, moving on from that topic, I have another bug to report, which is that when I saved the game and reintegrated, I had a problem with uh, two of my rear base parts becoming attached to the ground. It would break when I activated build mode, but um, it would reintegrate the moment I dropped to the ground again. So I had to break them off and just reset them, which fixed the bug fine, but still it was a little quirky, so worth reporting. Now, moving on from that topic, uh, I lied earlier, I totally do have some old footage of TerraTech. I have my old racing record on Terra Therma. Now, uh, the bounty I'm about to list doesn't actually involve anything within the game, so feel free to watch the race. Um, the bounty, actually, for this episode is going to be on creating a concise file of what the base parts do. Um, I know a few of you guys have access to the RNT chest chamber and can play around in there. Um, I do as well, I just don't have time to go and play around. So all you gotta do, okay, is head in there, find out what all the new base parts do and how to do them, maybe show some ideal configurations, post that on the forums in like a concise little, you know, well laid out post, and I will give you this week's bounty. The bounty, of course, is any $10 Steam game you can list. Uh, I've given up trying to give away specific games because you guys already have everything I want to give you. So, pick a game, any game, it's under 10 bucks. it's yours, that's the bounty. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Bugs, Bounties, and Complaints. I'm your host, Cupid the Conqueror, and have yourselves a wonderful evening. And remember, if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, simply like and subscribe. Thank you.